for our final product review for 2015. In front of us here is Polymaker's PolyPlus PLA, but this time in their translucent range. We have translucent red, translucent orange, yellow, and blue. Now, I've only just started printing with translucent um, filaments. You would have seen in previous videos, I've been printing in, in clears and so on. But this is the first time I've had colored translucent. And I've got to say, with the few test prints that I've been printing with this colored translucent material, I am hooked. It looks sensational. And let's check out what's in the box. We are greeted with a couple of pamphlets. The first one letting us know that Polymac is going through a rebranding. And this other one being the product information for the PLA plastic, plus also the uh, specifications and instructions with printing with this PLA. And looking at the PLA itself, this one is the transparent yellow. It comes packaged in a vacuum sealed reusable bag with a bag of desiccant. Very nice. Taking a closer look at these filaments, the red and the orange have a smooth texture to them, while the yellow and the blue actually have a bit of a rough texture to them. So that's interesting. And here we have the king and queen from the spiral chess set. And the first thing you'll notice is these lines within the part. That's the infill being visible through the translucent orange PLA plastic. And it looks really nice. It almost looks like this is uh, glass. It has that same dithering effect when looking through uh, like a glass uh, sculpture. And I, uh, you would have noticed it was printing quite slow when printing these spirals. Uh, I, I used quite aggressive uh, cooling, minimum layer time, because I wanted these spirals to come out nice and uniform and sharp, which they have, as there is quite a bit of overhang here, and these spirals aren't very large. I did choose that, uh, that minimum layer time to be quite high. And this is the result. These parts look absolutely beautiful. And here we have the planetary gear bearing printed in translucent red. I printed this uh, hollow so there's no infill so we won't see any lines or veins through the translucent material. However you will see, and I'll see if I can get that on camera and you can, you can see the actual herringbone, the, uh, the, the shape of the gear shining through this outer shell. And once this finished printing, this was a solid piece, uh, all I had to do to release this was insert my drill into here, hold the part on the outside and activate the drill and that immediately loosened this part, uh, loosened this part so it now spins quite freely. There are a couple of sticky spots but I've gotten most of them out. Now this part was downloaded direct from the Thingiverse website at the standard tolerance. So we're, we're talking about the 0.15 millimeter distance between uh, all these gears and this plastic was able to live up to the quality required to be able to print at that tight tolerance and still loosen it up.
And here we have the elephant printed in translucent blue PLA. This part was printed hollow, so we won't see any lines or, or veins within this part. This part prints in one piece, and uh, it didn't take much effort at all to free the articulating hind legs and front legs, and also the, the moving head of this part. And there's quite a bit of detail to this elephant, and everything printed absolutely beautifully. I am wrapped with the quality and the finish of this piece. And for something a bit different, this is the 3D knot printed in translucent yellow PLA plastic. Now this part doesn't have much adhesion to the build platform as the whole part is curved as such. So I used a brim to uh, expand the first layer to get better adhesion on the build platform while it was printing. And it printed successfully with, uh, with the brim. And this part is printed also hollow so we won't see any of the infill pattern within this part. And um, this is a knot, apparently, but there's no ends to this knot. This is, I guess you could say, an infinity knot. And here we have the trebuchet, or catapult, printed in all four colours of the translucent PLA plastic. I did this using the pause and print method, whereby at certain heights you would pause the printer, change the filament over, and then continue printing. And I did that three times to create this uh, this like rainbow effect and it looks absolutely beautiful. I can see I'll be doing this more often uh, in the future. Now each of these color transitions is very strong. There's no weak points that I can find with this. And because this is a translucent material, where the layer changes did occur, because the light kind of you know, enters and diffuses between those layers, you get like a, a gradient effect happening. And it looks quite nice. This is a great uh, little trick if you haven't already done so. Thanks again to Polymaker for sending me this translucent PLA material to review. I am now hooked on translucent or transparent coloured uh, plastic. I think this will be my go-to plastic uh, in future. I'll be doing another video as well on the pause and print method in the new year, so stick around for that. And lastly, I'd just like to say thanks to all the subscribers and anyone who's liked or even watched uh, my videos throughout the year. You've been very supportive. I appreciate uh, your viewing and have a great Christmas and new year and I'll see you next year.